from Fairview Mass Academy, Dayton, Ohio. We're SEMA students. Hi, we're from Roosevelt Middle School in Springfield, Ohio. We we're SEMA students. NASA Connect asked us to help you learn this lesson. There are many ways to divide the class up to check for the Fibonacci ratio and the objects you've collected, but we've decided to have three groups. The first group will measure natural objects. First, count the number of sides of the unpeeled banana. Write this number on the worksheet. On the pineapple, count the number of squares in two adjacent spirals. Are the adjacent numbers in the Fibonacci sequence? Count the segments of the have grapefruit. Is the grapefruit golden? Examine this pine cone for the number of spirals that go to the right and compare that number to the number of spirals that go to the left. Look at the daisy. Compare the number of petals that grow in a clockwise direction to the number that grow in a counterclockwise direction. Is your daisy golden? Now check any other natural objects that you have brought to class. The second group uses body measurements that approximate the golden ratio. Write the ratio of finger segments in one finger to the number of fingers on one hand. Is your hand golden? Now measure each student's height and record the results on the worksheet. Measure each student from the top of their head to the top of the middle finger of the outstretched arm. Record the results. What is the ratio of the height to the measure of the length from the top of the head to the end of the outstretched arm? Does it approximate the golden ratio? Measure the height of each student and the navel to floor height of each. Write the result as a ratio of body height to navel to floor height. Is the result close to the golden ratio? Measure each student's arm length and fingertip to the elbow. Write the result as a ratio. Is it golden? Group 3 measures man-made objects. Verify the Fibonacci numbers by measuring the length and width of an index card. Try this with an ID card. Measure other objects in the classroom or brought to class. When all groups finish with their explorations, they could summarize their findings and report to the rest of the class. Special thanks to our AIAA student mentors from the University of Cincinnati. Great job, guys. After you've completed the activity on the golden ratio, you should analyze your observations and respond to the following. In four sentences, describe the activity you just completed. Was everything you examined golden? How do you determine if an object is golden? Do you think that there is another special ratio, like the golden ratio, that exists in nature? Why? Teachers, check out our NASA Connect website.